Hello everyone and welcome back to the Outer Wilds and I must say I'm loving this game. Um, I was looking through some of the old footage of the previous episodes and I noticed something that I had missed in a panic. So I actually want to go check that out. See if we find something else out. But basically we're going back to uh, what's called Brittle Hollow I believe. I'm having trouble keeping the names of these planets straight, but as we do, we'll check out the ship log, see if it unlocked anything inside the seed, huh? Uh, yeah, when we send our launcher into the seed in Timber Hearth, it ends up somewhere in Dark Bramble. I think that's where we're headed, right? Brittle Hollow, no, it ends up somewhere in Dark Bramble, but I want to go to Brittle Hollow. I'm digging this planet. I want to see what else it has for me. It's got lots more. I keep screwing up that one spot there. But it's hard. I just I don't quite understand honestly how I'm supposed to get across that crevasse, that uh, gap there, uh, when I'm uh, crossing trying to get to the northern plateau. I suppose I could just like fly there. Oh god. Or I could just overshoot it again. Oh man, no, it's so far. Okay, and I'm getting closer. Let's just try not to do that again. Try and kind of go this way. Oh man. Well, I don't want to match his velocity because I want to catch up with it, right? Come on, come on. <laughs> Almost there. Here we go. Here we go. Come back. Come back, come back, come back. <laughs> come back. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna line up so perfectly. Oh no! <laughs> what am I doing wrong? It just moves so quickly. Okay, maybe if I kinda aim that way a bit. Kinda lead it. There we go. Much better. Oh, don't crash though. Ooh, all right. Oh, I guess this is as good a place as any. Might as well see what, what this is all about. It looks like that material that always, uh, oops, and that uh, switches positions when you uh, look away from it, doesn't it? Yep, definitely that's what it is. So I don't get nuked while I'm here. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. I've never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read this note. Until I read his note. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees, there's other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in this time. Same eerie way. Ooh. Ship, are you okay there? <laughs> oh, jeez. This place is so scary, You're just raining fire on you. My ship is getting screwed up. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, the rock shard presence... The, this rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? I would agree to that hypothesis. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. 
The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Send the steps. Here are the steps. Oh man, my ship is spazzing. Poor guy. And I have turned a typical shard of rock is the reason for objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Of course, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend is wandering. Our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. The only other object we observe displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior in this grove are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it's even a small piece of the moon itself. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Or is there other shards like this one? Quantum fluctuations. So they have the same kind of sound to them. Interesting. Let's check out the... Let's go down here before we get fire rained on us. Or not the way is the way is sealed maybe I get in from down there it wants me to shoot this scout launcher real bad but I don't quite understand the reason oh look at that little emblems for the different planets up there send me up I am already up. Pick me down. Oh, oh, this is taking me directly into the black hole. Okay, maybe not. Just dangerously close to it. Switch the tub. All right, look at this. The surface can be walked on. Interesting. What do you got for me? Be welcome to this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend the stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. But it's broken. Huh. This chunk is missing and more. The crossroads, East 190. Oh, just clip through there. This is so insane. I can recover it through a black hole.
Are you chilling here? You crazy person. What up, Ryvik? Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow. I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow. But you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes. Ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously. I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. You wanna know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable. Instead of being sucked to into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. And this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did ya? Ha! <laughs> That'd be... Yeah. I learned something. Oh cool, what is it? I found a Nomai escape pod in Brittle Hollow. Wow, then the Nobi probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. They must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. What kind of trouble? And where did this escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. Hopefully we find out more about why the Nomai arrived here. Where should I explore here? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very... no. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the south pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the service. Trust me, I tried. But it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Uh, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble. Okay. Update that. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. So... I kind of want to jump into the black hole. Not oh, look at this. Take me out. What's this? I've seen that structure. I don't know what the rest of these are. Oh, I think I know what that is, but... What do we got here? The Hanging City. Whoa! planet with just fire raining on it all the time. I don't know how much time I still got. And I definitely can't make that jump. Okay, I think we should just do it. Here we go. Oof. Dude, it's so terrifying. The base just makes it so scary. Okay, I want to get into back into this thing here. Come on, 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 come on. Here we go.
Oxygen tank refilled. Whoa. I'm inside. Okay. Okay. Ember twin projection stone. Well, that's not where I was about to go. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Really? Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing at the warp platform on the floor during the alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. So this will take me back. Very cool. Wish I'd found that the first time. Now where did I put that, uh... Here it is. Is there a thing I can use this on? Maybe upstairs? Oh. Oh, maybe downstairs. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, I wanna figure out where to put this projection. Oh, well, maybe I have to take it with me to Britain. Must be standing. On the warp platform, on the floor during this one. This is this the warp platform? It must be this, right? go then I still don't have my ship oh charge step on the warp receiver to return warp Marksman. Okay, very cool. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, some ruins here. The Hanging City is right below me. That's broken. That goes up. Can't use that. Maybe I can, there's a control panel? Nope. Nope. Something back here. Let's see. Got some conversations. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We successfully recreated warp travel. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. I don't know how close it is to Anana's original design. But as long as we've built what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kasuba, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. 
I'm returning to Whitehall Station. If you and Root can meet me there, we can put on full diagnostics and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kasava. Okay, something weird. Whoa. This is that platform that's by the sun. Come on, let me look around. Ember Twin Projection Zone. So this is the Ember Twin, I guess? So close to the moon. What is that? Okay. It's not what I thought it was, but... <clears throat> Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent. Poke. Pokey. And they appeared to show Nomaya arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from Whitehall Station. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested there and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandths of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? As I've already told Raimi, these measurements are can't be accurate. How can the Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Okay, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she is kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update, Pokey, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Amber Twins Equator. Come here at once, you need to see this. I don't disagree. It would, it would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We'd have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Oof. Not much to see here, I guess. I don't, um... Yeah, my ship's pretty far. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? I am interested in your playful moon. Is it much like your its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. I imagine there'd be none of us left. There can exist there can exist too much lava. I strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. I suppose the moon is too shy to show us its face. If you look at the map, there's no moon currently. Currently around Timber Hearth. There's a little jetpack. Oh. So I need to schlep across the planet ship if I can't use my jetpack. Something is here. I check my little scout. 
I do too use it. Hornfeld's your burnt marshmallow and the scout integrity inside this piece of bird hall is as stable as any, but who knows? If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, whenever you're reading this, I'm sure you got bigger problems. <laughs> stuck there um should go down this way three minutes of oxygen remaining that sun just keeps keeps getting bigger and bigger My ship. Running low on oxygen. Here it goes. So cool. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. I'll catch you all next time.